Everybody and welcome to this Late Night with Tanner. And today's Late Night with Tanner is um, we're working with um, some green paper. This is mostly to show you that the Imagine, what the Imagine quality of paper is, which is very high quality. Let me give you that. Um, this is what you get when you print out a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. You know, it gets to the edge. Very, very nice. Very nice love this paper um i recommend you print out some of this this is from one of my favorite cartridges from them it's called hopscotch it's one of those that you know work all throughout the year it's here it is all right here's the cartridge and if you open up the thing you get um um you get so your Cricut Rewards, and you know, you just open this up, and you've seen this before. Here's your Hopscotch Manual. They've made these extremely thin. How awesome is that? And it shows you all your little paper designs, and actually, th this page doesn't have the one I have am using, but um, I love these clouds, and I, these stripes are my absolute favorite. And then you get your Cricut Rewards and, oh, more Cricut Rewards. I'm going to go get some of those hand warmers. Carol Ann over at Logan's Crafty Mama showed me these hand warmers. And I'm going to get, like, a lot of hand warmers from Cr uh, Cricut. And then I'm going to get um, a fan. And that's go. I'm going to be living in California. <laughs> I'm going to be warm and I'm going to have a nice breeze. So we got it all figured out. Yeah, if you all are friends with me on my Facebook page, my personal one, you would know what we're talking about here. Okay, and I'm going to use this Martha Stewart burn, burn folder. Bone folder. I love all things Martha Stewart. Great company. Okay, and um, then we're going to take this polka dotted paper from um, Provo Cloth's Pop Scotch. And here is my um, Fiskars trimmer. Not so impressed with it like I am the imagining other products, but um, it's what I'm using for the moment. We just put that to the side, and then you want to cut out this four inch. And I don't even have a sentiment picked out yet, guys. Can you believe it? I'm going to use my trees, trees, or another Mr. Cricut Crazy stamp. I know I'm using Mr. Cricut Crazy Twine, of course. And I'm going to use my big corner chopper also. <clears throat> okay, so let's do the main card first just to get it going. Now, this crocodile corner chopper can be picked up at Little Paper Sprinkles. Love her stuff. She has some great products over there. I'm telling you, you need to check it out. Her Etsy shop. There'll be a link on her Facebook, Little Paper Sprinkles. I'll try to get you a link on there too. I'll link you to the Facebook because Facebook is like the going thing these days. If you don't have a Facebook, you really need to get one. And like our pages. Yay. I'm going to do a card like this today. I don't do a lot of cards like this, but I'm going to today. Oh, and then here is um, my stamp. My Mr. Great Crazy Trees Tree stamp. And I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to... I found this paper. I don't know what it is. I think it's Old Olive Stampin' Up! Because it's not as thick as my love for paper tray. But, um, I mean, I love Stampin' Up! too. But paper tray is more of a favorite. Okay, but all the other paper I use besides the one I printed is, um, um, paper tray ink. My love. My addiction. Their ribbon from there is awesome. But I do buy the white ribbon from Stampin' Up. The satin, the one that does isn't polka dotted. Because you get quite a bit. But you have to pay a good price too. So I mean it just all depends on what type of person you are and everything. And I shouldn't have punched holes. but Because it just made it look bad. But that's okay. Okay. So then we're going to take our card, and I'm just going to put a strip of ATG right here. And I'm going to take this right here, and put it down, and roll me, hold on, put it down right here, and then put about two more strings of it. And this is what I do with twine. This is the best look I think you can do with twine. I don't know what's up with me in this design, but it's my favorite, 
favorite, favorite, favorite design of my favorite way to use twine is just putting it on a card as I'm doing right now. Okay. And then I'm going to make me a spot and put some more HEG where it's going to stay. And then stick it. And run some more HEG over it. <clears throat> my throat is so sore. Why is my throat always sore? Okay. But, um, then I'm going to put some HEG here. And then put this down right here. It's a really cool design. Simple. Very simple. Okay. And then we'll put this down right here. Okay. And we'll just cut this out right here. Okay. Put it down right here. And now we got to pick out us a sentiment. So what sentiment from Mr. Crazy would you like to use today? So I'm going to let you all choose your stamp while I choose mine. Mine is going to be from the Trees Tree stamp because this set is amazingly awesome. And I haven't pulled it out in a while. So I'm just kind of going back to the basics, you know, for the holidays. Now I should have made a Christmas card. But um, you all be checking out my website because an awesome deal is going to be up in December. I mean a super awesome deal. Okay, and I'm going to use the stamp, You're My Type. It's not something I would say, but there's somebody out there that would say it because I came up with the stamp. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to use, a, you can use this paper. It doesn't bleed through, so if you have a scrap piece of this, you can use it as white cardstock. Amazing at how many things you can use it for. Pure amazing. <clears throat> my throat is killing me. Okay, um, then I'm going to get an acrylic block. Take it right here. This is the Teresa Collins one. Don't know why I have it out. And I'm going to use some green archival ink, which you can pick up on my website, mrcricketcrazy.com. I'm just going to stomp it right here. You're my top. Then that's all you have to do. Okay, and then you can put your ink away and just cut this out. And see, so you don't have to use your um, trimmer that much if you don't want to. And then I'm just going to take this and go... Go around the edges and stuff. And there we go. And then we can put that down on with some of this. So voila. So thanks for watching, Mr. Cricket Crazy. I hope you enjoyed our Cricket Imagine card. And come back for another Mr. Cricket Crazy episode tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.